This is my eight foot tall, 2000 plus LED matrix custom NASCAR scoring tower. It uses live public NASCAR leaderboard data to update the running positions and advanced statuses of each driver in the field during the race, lap by lap. Let's take a look at a mid-race example from Phoenix Raceway. Here we see lap count, flag state, and up to the top 37 positions displayed. With 97 laps to go, Denny Hamlin battling for the lead spins out. The yellow lights indicate the caution. The green and red position indicators next to the car numbers highlight drivers that gained and lost positions since the last update. The orange bar is the lead lap bar. Drivers above this line are on the lead lap, and below the line are one or more laps down. This subsequently shows the number of cars on the lead lap and who is in the lucky dog free pass position at any given moment. The red blinking dot indicates a driver is on NASCAR's damage vehicle policy. Here, Denny Hamlin made contact with race leader Tyler Reddick, therefore numbers 11 and 45 are shown as on the DVP. A blue dot next to a car number indicates that driver has recently pitted, in this case within the last 5 laps, but that is adjustable. This makes tracking both green flag and caution pit cycles much easier. Once the scoring cycles, we see at a glance that the top nine drivers stayed out while the rest on the lead lap pitted for the upcoming restart. Finally, the car number color represents the status of the driver. White numbers are actively running on track. Yellow numbers mean the driver has went behind the wall in the garage and is off track. Red numbers signify a DNF, which means the driver has officially retired and is out of the race. Here we see this multi-car crash involves several cars, as indicated by the red flashing DVP lights. The heavily damaged cars deteriorate status from white to yellow to red as they go off track and declare they are too damaged to continue the race. I hope you enjoyed this detailed demo of my project. I plan to continue improving it by adding features and enhancing its usability. It has been a great addition to my race watching experience at home and the end goal is to eventually have a plug and play system that I can offer for sale for fellow race fans. Thank you for watching.